Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create drop-down lists with multiple options in Excel. Now, you wanna bring up Excel, and I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. One way, I'm gonna show you how to make a drop-down list with uh, options that are on the same page, and the other one, I'm gonna show you how to make a drop-down list with options from a list that's on another page over here. So I'm just gonna use an example we're going to use single, double, and, or triple scoops of strawberry vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Just a simple little example. So to do it on, this, on the same page here, what you want to do is this is my list right here. Single, double, triple, there's my size. I want to be able to have the pull-down list right there. So what I do is you select the cell that you want the pull-down list on. Then you go over to Data Validation, and you select the Data Validation tab. And then here you make sure the Settings is tabbed excuse me, the settings tab is selected, then you make sure you want it, you pull it from a list. And then what you can do is, as I have right here, you just, you can go over here, select the, the range you want, hit OK, and now you have a list of the pull downs right there. You can, you know, pick single, double, or triple. Now for the other one, flavor, that's on a list on the other side. So you select the cell. Well, actually, you don't have to select the cell yet. You go over to the other sheet, you select those guys right there and give it the name flavors. That's what I did. I gave it the name of flavors right there. So now I've made this, this uh, a list. I've given it a, a name of flavors. Now I can go back to the first sheet. And then what you want to do in this one, as you can see, it's already pretty popular because I've been playing with it. But you would go back to the data validation tab, click data validation. You select list. And then in this box right here, you, you, use, you select equals flavors. That's the name that I gave it on the other sheet. And that will cause that list to be uh, selected in that pull down. You say OK. And then you've got your chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla in that list. Um, and so that's how you do it. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today I showed you how to create a drop down list with multiple options in Excel. Thanks for watching.